Good morning. Uh, we're dwindling down on the pepper tests for the year. I got a couple more here from Roland that I still need to get to. Let's see. Ah! Daddy! <laughs> There's my son. This is uh, Cleo's Dragon. Uh, it's a kind of habanero. Kind of habanero. Similar contours to a like a red savina. No, baby, these are very hot. My son thinks he likes peppers, but when you, they give him anything that's spicy, yeah, he's like, ah, anymore. So, no more of that. Okay, so let's cut off the top here. It's getting a little icky. Ooh, ooh, delicious. <laughs> Delicious coffee. Actually, that's tea. Uh, there's my uh, tea bag from my tea. cup this morning sitting on the table here, so he's playing with it. Cutting the icky parts out of this. And I'm, I'm dum dum So, Cleo's Dragon. Here's what it looks like inside. Still actually pretty crisp. The top part was... Say that again, baby. The top part was getting kind of fuzzy, so I cut that off. But everything else is still good. It's still pretty firm. Top part was mushy, of course. The stem end is what usually goes bad first on most peppers, especially on uh, ones like this. All uh, the chin ants varieties tend to do that. But anyway. So? No, baby, that's not happening. So I'll peel off about half of this or so. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Ooh, that's really, really sweet. Got a nice tartness. Uh. Very similar to a regular habanero flavor, but a little bit more tending towards the Caribbean red. Really nice prickly heat already. Spicy. Careful, those can break. Can you spit that out, please? Those that can make you sick. Please. All of it, please. He was just chewing on an apple core. Really good. Over whole top of my tongue. <laughs> Into my throat. <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> Desmond, tell me what's wrong. It's really good, solid warmth. Lips started glowing now too. Whole tongue is just encapsulated. Roof of my mouth. Oof. A little burst. But yeah, that was a really nice flavor. Uh, very similar to a Caribbean red. Uh, somewhere, say, when the middle ground between a Caribbean red and a regular orange habanero. Let me toast. But yeah, really nice. Even warmth too, giving me a little bit of sweat here, but not excruciatingly hot, you know. I'd say I'd put it near a hundred thousand Scovilles. It wasn't quite as hot as a regular habanero, but um, 
still got a pretty good glow happening here. It's nice and even, but kind of black pepper-ish. Please be careful with the plates. Those are glass, okay? Have glass. Well, you can hold it, but try not to drop them, okay? Because they'll break if you drop them. That's black peppery now, settling into a good overall glow. And I'm still able to get the flavor on this. I'm starting to hit cherry notes on it now. As it's settling down. Oh, the burn is diminishing. But yeah, it's a really nice fruity habanero flavor. Um, kind of musky almost. Really deep, rich, musky type flavor. Um, yeah, there's cherry-like notes creeping in now, too, at the tail end of this. So, yeah, cool. Um, Here's the other one. This one was a little bit mushier, so I didn't test that one. We'll see what if the seeds are still okay. Uh, the top part's kind of blackish. But, um, yeah, thank you again, Roland, for sending me these. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get to these. I've, I have just been head popping. I've tra been trying to lay out the foundation for my new format on my channel. Uh, I've been going through my old videos. And Just turn it over and tap it. Tap it. Tap. Tap. No, tap it. So I've been just overwhelmed tap. trying to get everything taken care of. And, tap. Uh, I have a bunch of other peppers tap. of my own from my garden. Uh, the fridge was acting goofy and they kind of got frozen, so I don't know how many are still going to be good. But I'll go through them today and see what I can do. Um, so yeah, Cleo's Dragon. Um, Got a few seeds in here. Hope to grow this out in the years to come. No, these are very hot, spicy. You can't have these. So yeah, uh, Cleo's Dragon Habanero. Good stuff. And. We'll throw them on the grow list somewhere down the line. Uh, I have 250 or so different varieties of seeds, so it's going to be quite a while before I get to it probably. Uh, I've actually made my grow list through 2015 since I have so many. Um, yeah, so, okay. Thanks for watching. See you later.